All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. And we'll give it another, everybody, another minute here to um, filter in. Please feel free to, in the uh, chat, introduce yourself. And um, yeah, I'll just give it one more minute here while people filter in. Nice. Charlotte, I used to live in Charlotte. It's great. Jamie. There it is. Judy. All right, great. All right, so, um, so this webinar is a pre-course information webinar uh, meant to just give you kind of an understanding of the applied data science uh, course with Emeritus. Uh, my name is Jacob, I'll be uh, presenting today. And um, just a little note on, uh, on Zoom. Um, feel free to uh, use the chat f with each other. If you have a question during the, uh, during the webinar, please use the Q and A um, box to, to raise that question. So um, I'll, I'll periodically break and, uh, and look at the Q and A and see if there are any, um, any questions and, and answer them as I, as I can. Okay. So if, if at any point in time you have a question about something, uh, feel free to pop a note in the Q and A, and I'll I'll address it as I go through. Okay. All right. So here is uh, our agenda. Uh, talk a little bit about who's helping with the course. Uh, tell you a little bit about Emeritus, uh, about the uh, contents of the course, and what your learning journey would look like. Um, some additional things about Emeritus and what, uh, what happens after you um, take the course and any time for some extra Q&A at the end here. All right, so uh, this is me. And yeah, I'm a math teacher. Uh, I've been working with Emeritus for uh, a while on the data science and machine learning courses. Um, and I love teaching <laughs> and I love math. And, um, also the Columbia faculty are, uh, Vinit Goyal, Costas Maglaras and Hardeep Johar. And these guys will be responsible for the video, uh, content, or this is who you will see in the pre-recorded video content from, uh, from Columbia. In addition to the content from Columbia, Emeritus has some uh, off the shelf content as well uh, around the Python, um, the introductory Python stuff. So, so Kristen, Carmen, Fabio, and Mariana will uh, be your, are your faculty members for the, uh, the foundational Python materials as well. Okay, and a little bit about Emeritus. Uh, Emeritus, not only in this course with Columbia, but has a, a, a larger partnership with Columbia and a number of other of the uh, top universities in the world to deliver online content for them. Uh, Columbia Engineering is one of, uh, one of those. And um, we have a very diverse, uh, broad reach. And as you can see here uh, from the student, student representatives, you know, we're, we're kind of equally dispersed around the world in terms of where everybody is. So <clears throat> a little bit about the kind of structure of the course itself. Um, there is content from 
Columbia. That'll be the lecture content delivered in the force uh, in, the, in the form of uh, pre-recorded lectures um, and some guest lectures. We also have uh, discussion boards for you to engage with the larger student population. And uh, we have consistent, we have consistent um, opportunities to participate in graded, automatic graded uh, assignments as well. Uh, so there's a, a variety in the types of um, engagement that you'll have during the applied data science course. There is also an emeritus network, um, which everybody who participates in an emeritus course gets <clears throat> access to. Um, this is where other people from other courses uh, as well have the opportunity to engage with one another, talk about ideas and just network. All right, great. Okay, so that's just kind of a big picture of um, of who's here and uh, what emeritus is. Now let's talk about the actual course itself. So there are, uh, again, there's a mixture of different kinds of activity, whether it's graded assignments, whether it's lectures, it's also, and there's also uh, office hours. But um, this is about six to eight hours a week to expect in terms of your time commitment, six to eight hours a week for about five months. Um, again, there are live online classes, there's pre-recorded classes, there's, uh, and then there's weekly assignments and discussions. We will cover uh, basic data analysis and visualization to start, statistical distributions, decision trees, sampling, clustering, hypothesis testing, text mining, regression, and a number of other uh, things along the way. But um, basically a very good kind of high level overview of the field of data science and many of the common algorithms that are introduced. And again, the way that this happens is that we have uh, videos for each topic that you will watch. There's optional uh, quizzes, in, and we'll see more of this uh, in just a minute, um, in addition to a graded weekly homework assignment. You have a live question and answer session with course leads. So every week there is uh, there are office hours with your course leads. Um, I believe that in this applied data science course, there'll be two course leads. So myself and one other individual. And, um, and every week there will be, uh, like I'll have an hour where I'm online and live and we can interact and you can ask me questions and I'll have some things prepared to fill out that week's content. These sessions are recorded as well. So if you're not able to make it to the office hours, you'll get, um, they, they'll be posted in Canvas and recorded. And then you also have a discussion board to talk to one another. Um, and yeah, that's kind of, those are the elements of the, uh, of the class. Let me see, we've got a couple questions here. The one thing about Zoom. Yeah, the live, uh, the live online teaching is, uh, is with the, um, is with us, the course leads. So like that you do have you have, um, just like right now, like I'm live on Zoom here, uh, same thing will happen with the course leads uh, every week. So you'll have, there. there's multiple live online sessions. 
So you can kind of do, you know, you don't ever have, you don't have to come to office hours or anything. You could completely do this at, at all your own pace and not have any kind of uh, time requirements for being online with anything if you don't want. But there is an opportunity to engage with the course leads, ask us questions. And a lot of times we end up doing kind of additional uh, content during office hours as well. So I hope that answers this. Questions, okay. So in terms of a deeper dive into the content, here is what that looks like. Um, in module one, we'll have kind of an introduction, okay? This is an introduction to data science, kind of big picture, module two is uh, more of an, the introductory Python stuff, working with data types, operations, writing functions, all right? And then using popular, some uh, an introduction to some popular packages like uh, NumPy and Pandas. After that, we'll dive a little deeper into Python, start working with the data structure library Pandas in week six. Uh, Module seven, we'll work on data visualization. Module eight, we'll talk about random variables and statistical inference. Module nine, we'll talk about distributions and hypothesis tests. Okay, and then that's the, uh, so that's in the, this is the Python for data science uh, part of the course, okay? So this is all of the kind of introduction to both Python and the basic statistical ideas that happens in the first chunk, okay? After that, we move into the uh, applied data science piece where we start with data analysis and visualization, two parts of uh, visualization, uh, more advanced conversation on statistical distributions, sampling, hypothesis tests, and, and then we get into the models with regression models in Python, uh, evaluation, classification, tree models, and natural language processing and text mining. All right, and that is the, so in the data set, the, again, like the big idea is that in the first part of the course is kind of an introduction to Python and the, the libraries that we use in doing data science. The second part of the course is an actual introduction to the ideas in data science, right? And the algorithms. Let me see, we've got a couple of questions here. Is the course delivered by lecture or is it self-taught from reading an online text and watching related videos? Uh, the, so there are online lectures that, um, that you watch and then there is also uh, the office hours. So the, the course does have kind of pre-recorded videos that you can work through at your own pace. And then there's also uh, the live sessions with the course leads. All right. And uh, sometimes there's a text that's referred to. Yeah, each module is, is a week in the course. Uh, yeah, machine learning is this, all of this, uh, let's see here. This whole course from, you know, I mean, what would usually be considered machine learning will start here in, in the regression models. But the three big problems in machine learning are regression, classification, and clustering. So you'll see that we go through regression, classification, and clustering, and then also kind of applying it to different, different types of data. Uh, the introduction of the Python contains exercises in order to gain experience. Yeah, absolutely. So every, every week, um, every week you have an assignment that is a Python assignment, uh, and as well as the office hours, but yeah, the, um, the 
introduction to Python uh, part is like an introduction to the Python language. And you do have worked assignments to, to help with that. Uh, total video time expected if all videos are watched. I do not know what that is, but usually video content is between one to two hours a week of total time. Yeah, so James asked if the live sessions are posted online. Yes, they are. And the timing of the office hours, Jamie, yeah, we usually try to split them so that one of us has one of us would be roughly like morning and one of us is kind of evening um, just because we do anticipate people being distributed around. Uh, so there'll, there'll be a, there'll be some difference uh, in that. And uh, for someone without undergraduate level of statistics knowledge, is it difficult to finish this course? Can we learn both in parallel? Well, I think that the idea here is to teach you these ideas. So it's okay if you haven't seen them before. Um, you know, more stats background doesn't, isn't bad, but uh, that's not, you know, it's, it's I, I wouldn't anticipate it being a, uh, uh, complete barrier. Uh, Jessica asked, I was told there is a 24 seven help desk. If I run into issues, questions on the assignment, is that right? Yeah, absolutely. So you will uh, be able to contact me and uh, or, or so your course lead will either be me or the other uh, course lead. And you can always contact us through uh, Canvas you'll have access to us through email uh, 24 seven. There's also, um, there's also a help like Zendesk help desk uh, for any technical issues. Um, and, and you can raise an issue on, uh, on Zendesk whenever and, uh, and you'll get a response within 24 uh, hours as well. But if you have questions on the assignment, you can just email your course lead with the, with the questions and we'll get back to you. Okay, uh, Francis, do we, you need to have a background in Python or SQL to complete the course? No, uh, you know, the more experience in Python you have the better, but the first part of this part one is really an introduction to Python as well, okay? Uh, I do, Caroline, I don't know what the class size is. Uh, Christian, okay. Uh, won't be a blocker. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, would you like to share any soft slides of the course as well for our more understanding? Uh, I'm not sure what a soft slide is. How beneficial is this course for someone who's seeking a mid-career change? Um, if that mid-career change involves computers and data science, I think it would be a great fit. Uh, does Python assume a knowledge of another? No, yeah, so we don't assume a knowledge of some other language or anything like that. Again, the big thing is that in the, in this 12, or I'm sorry, uh, was it nine? And these first nine weeks is really kind of a big picture introduction to both um, Python and statistics. You know, that's the idea here is to kind of introduce you in, uh, to it. And then in module two, we dive deeper into the kind of concepts, especially around the learning algorithms. Yeah, it's okay to not have calculus in algebra. Well, algebra, you probably want algebra, 
you don't necessarily need linear algebra. And would I say this course is a introduction for machine learning and AI? Yeah, absolutely. More machine learning than AI, but totally. All right, good questions. Let me uh, hop back to the presentation here. Yeah, so here at the end of this, you know, what we would hope is the big picture is that you can use Python to uncover um, patterns in, in structure in, in data and say something about it. Okay, so now a little more about the emeritus uh, learning experience. So we use a Canvas platform. And uh, we, again, we have the weekly live lectures with the course leads. We also have the pre-recorded um, lectures. Every week we have an assignment and every week there is a discussion uh, board that you can talk to all the other members of the course in. So, right, during those, uh, you know, we, we, you do have people who you can reach out to and talk to um, every day who are familiar with the content of the course and can answer your questions, namely myself and the other course lead, you know. Uh, we can tell you things about if you have questions on your assignments, uh, but also you get to talk to everybody else who's having running into those same problems in the uh, discussion boards, okay? so. You'll have guidance from both your peers in your course, but you also have somebody that you can talk to uh, as a course lead throughout the entire process. Yeah, so every week, uh, you know, again, we'll have about six to eight hours uh, a week for these five months. These will be graded uh, coding assignments. You'll have optional quizzes. There'll be the discussions and uh, webinars from the course leads. Uh, and you'll, yeah, again, you'll have consistent opportunities to in interact with the, uh, the course leads in order if you have any questions or, or issues. Uh, the course fee is 2350 You have a few different options for payment. Either pay in full or in, in installments. Um, this course starts September 1st. So these are the deadlines for that September 1st run. And also this is uh, being recorded. So you'll, you will all get a copy of this. Uh, or you could pay four or five installments. And at the end of this, you do get a uh, certificate uh, of completion um, as well as a digital uh, certificate that you can share on LinkedIn, a badge that you can share on LinkedIn. Yeah, and um, again, the course starts September 1st. The deadline for applications is August 31st, so uh, not quite two weeks. And now let's open it up for any more questions. So you got a few more here. Yeah, if I get stuck develop, so Jessica asks if I get stuck developing code, what's the best way to get unstuck so they don't spend hours on fixing an issue and continue my work without waiting? Uh, that is a great question. I, part of, you know, it's difficult. Part of this is like that, that the work with coding is that you're always getting stuck. Um, the idea here is that we have support structures in place to help ease some of that. That if you do get stuck and you can't figure it out, you can reach out to your course lead. Now it's not instantaneous, but uh, certainly within 24 hours, you know, you'll get some sort of a, you'll get a response from one of us. Um, 
so that's one thing. And the other thing is you could talk to the other members of the course and see if there's maybe there's some guidance there. But you have opportunities to engage with uh, with some others uh, here and you have avenues for for asking those questions and people who can answer them in, in short time. After the course is finished, the prospects for job finding, you know, uh, well, all I can say is that there, uh, this is a high demand skill set, depending on how uh, engaged with the course you are and how motivated you are with the material and things like that. After this, you should have a good handle on, on Python and data science and be ready to start looking at um, other opportunities. The live lectures are the, yeah, those are the office hours. Um, so Amy, at the end of this, in terms of your skill level for Python, I would say, you know, it'll de it, it's really gonna depend. Um, I would say intermediate, if you do everything, you know, and, 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 put a good effort forth. Uh, the postgraduate diploma has a capstone um, project as well. That's the difference between this and the postgraduate program, I believe is, is a, a capstone assignment. There would, yeah, there will be a session that starts after September. I'm not sure when the next one is. I, I don't know if they're every two or three months. So maybe in December would be the next one that, uh, the next session that starts. Yeah, you can put, uh, you can put the name of the course on uh, applied data science with Columbia Engineering, sure. Uh, if you don't have any, <clears throat> you can talk to admissions about, uh, financial support. If, uh, the tuition is too much, you should talk to admissions about that. So, um, projects like every week we're going to be working with, uh, data sets, different data sets. Uh, regression, classification, hypothesis tests. So there's like a lot of different projects that could come out of those data sets uh, from there. But typically that's, we're gonna be working on uh, like a data oriented project with a real data set. Uh, our data structures, stacks, links, lists and stuff covered. Not so much, uh, Leo, because really we're not writing programs to uh, to do the algorithms. We're more using the algorithms. So we don't talk so much about that kind of computer science side of things uh, here. Uh, yeah, you can mention Columbia University after. Sure. This is in collaboration with Columbia, so sure. Uh, will you have to download Python? Yes, you will have to download Python. Uh, is Columbia is Columbia Engineering the professional and continuing ed college of Columbia? No, it's just it's the engineering school where uh, the engineering programs live. That's where uh, a lot of the data science stuff happens there. Uh, all right, uh, is, um, let's see, compare with another sort of, sort of machine learning, which one would be more suitable for a beginner? I think this is a good beginner class, you know, because there's a long, uh, there's a decent amount of attention paid to getting up and running with Python. Is this program something like a coding bootcamp? Uh, I mean, it certainly covers a lot of the same ideas. It's not nearly as intense uh, uh, demanding of your time. So it'd be like a part-time kind of boot camp program. All right, let's 
see. Do you need a strong computer to run the machine programs? No, not really. Executive education is the continuing ed, yeah. Python download is free and easy, yep. Uh, no, well, we use Jupyter Notebooks. So what you'll do is you'll download uh, something called Anaconda um, that has the Jupyter Notebooks to run Python in. That's what we'll be using. Are other programs like Spotify and Alteryx covered? Uh, we do not cover Spotify or Alteryx. This is pr it's primarily Python. Would you recommend to the ML and AI postgrad after that? Right, I think that that would be a good flow. Like they definitely, that's the more advanced kind of version of this. Is there an IDE for Python? Yes, there is. But we'll primarily, um, we'll primarily use Jupyter Notebooks, but you can work in an IDE if you like. Uh, no, this does not use R. We don't use R here in this uh, in this course. There are other courses through Emeritus that are R oriented. Uh, lots of postings require additional skills like Agile, SQL. Would the completion of this program be enough uh, for everything? It, it depends. It really will depend. It, we we don't cover SQL. Um, but it depends if there's, you know, it depends. Yeah. The Jupiter thing, you just, it's a free download and we'll give you instructions for how to download it, but you can look for Anaconda. If you just Google download Anaconda, you'll be, it'll come right up. And it's free. After this course, will we be able to deliver any projects like a pro? Uh, we certainly do give you, I think, what you need to be able to. Uh, a lot of that is going to be left up to you, Alexandros, okay? But um, it is a thorough course in terms of uh, Python and machine learning and uh, data science. All right. Are there, there's, I'll stick around for another minute and see if there's any other uh, questions that I can answer. Yeah, so uh, Jessica asked, can I use Windows? You can use Windows, Mac, Linux. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what, uh, what kind of computer you have. Um, I would recommend using your personal computer. All right, great. Well, I'll stick around for another minute or two in case uh, anybody has any additional questions. Uh, yes, we do go into the theory of the algorithms. Uh, the breakdown of the course timeline. Yeah, like this is, this is the course timeline here. A module is synonymous with a week. So those, there's 21 weeks.
You are welcome, Leo. Thank you. Uh, is there a more advanced, different introductory than this? Yeah. So we have, uh, there's also the applied machine learning and uh, applied machine learning and artificial intelligence courses and they're a little bit more advanced. So Christian, if you're looking for something more advanced, those might be the courses. Uh, I do not know if I have course that I would recommend for a sequel, but I don't know. I don't know for sequel. I'm not a huge sequel guy or my, my SQL experience has been kind of patchwork. Just coming to know it as randomly. Can you put up the blue slide with the learning outcomes? Yeah, sure. Uh, timings for a module are roughly a week. Well, Colton, I would say that the biggest difference between this and the ML and AI course is just the amount of mathematics and the level of rigor uh, that those things are presented in, as well as the coding. You know, like the ML and AI is just a much more, it's, it's more rigorous and more mathematical. in a real business environment is the requirement of skills much higher or similar. It really depends on what, uh, what kind of role you're in. So there certainly are roles where this is enough, but then there's other roles that you would be expected to know a lot more. Uh, what is the least time you should invest per week and what is the max? Well, least time would be, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I re you should really go through all the videos and do the assignments. So that's going to be, I would think, at least at least two hours. Max is really up to you because you can certainly find enough um, stuff to do to keep yourself very busy with this. Uh, why should you choose this over the postgrad? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, like the postgrad, the diploma in this is an extent, extended version of this. So they're quite similar. Uh, if you just, if you want or don't want that, that capstone project. Yeah. So in terms of, that's a good question, DK. Um, the, you, so I, to complete the course, you'll actually, you don't have to do every single assignment. Like there'll be some, uh, I think you have to, you have to complete 60% of the graded assignments or something like that. And you can ask for extensions on things and stuff like that. So, so even though we have weekly assignments, you have a little bit of flexibility in, in terms of completing uh, them and things. Is this course for a social scientist? Yeah, I'm a social scientist. Uh, like to initiate a career in ML and AI. Would this be a good start? I think so. It's a nice introduction to the Python computing language and big picture of the algorithm, the common algorithms and machine learning. So I think it is a, a good start. So Amy says, I have an environment where data is in a structured environment like tables. Yes, I, you would use Python to get this data. Yep. You could. All right, great.
Yeah, of course, Darren. Uh, what kind of job could I apply for after this course? Well, roles that look for Python and some kind of machine learning uh, skills as well would be you know, analysts, uh, anything with data and Python. Would you recommend me to take next for ML and AI? Uh, geez, I don't know. Certainly the ML and AI course would be a good one after this. Those, they kind of go in sequence well together. Uh, will you get an environment for testing? Yeah, absolutely. So like we have an online environment that you can do, that you'll do your assignments in. Called Vocarium. Alexandros, you're very welcome. Everybody else, you are very welcome. I look forward to and hope to see you guys uh, in the course in a couple weeks. And uh, again, you'll get a copy of the, uh, of the webinar recording and feel free to reach out to uh, your admissions person to ask any additional questions that you may have, okay? All right, you're all very welcome. And looks like, I think that that's, uh, Sarah, would you recommend this course for someone who works in marketing? Perhaps, I'm not sure what your goals uh, would be if you're an analyst in marketing. Um, then yeah, like to work with data in marketing, um, yes. Uh, we do not do social network analysis in this one. All right, great. Thanks so much, everybody, and I hope to see you soon.